What's up, Ben? How are you? <laughs> Nightclub sale just for you. 7.13. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> Almost to 7.14. <laughs> What's that reference you say? Well, only old people would know what 714 is. <laughs> if you don't know, look it up. Oh, uh, yeah. The first part of it begins with an R. So we'll give you that. There's a word in front of 714. <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah. All right, so it's 713, not 714. Yeah, uh, nothing special, but I mean, with this kind of money, we're getting the, the pound me too, for sure. For sure. Hopefully, it's not the cargo slob. All right, let's go. Okay, well, this is what's known as a high risk trade. Uh oh. The buyer wants three separate drops, and they want you to know you're very likely to meet resistance somewhere along the way. Resistance? Ish. Thank God it's you out there, not me. Well, we listened to Tony for once. I think we might listen to him. He's kind of funny. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess of the people we got to listen to, he's probably the one I can take the most. Other than the one we shall not mention, who's my bestest buddy, Franklin. And I know I'm biased. I love Franklin. He's the best. All right. Nothing can ever bring you down. He's the best. I'm sorry. I had to break into a Karate Kid song. <laughs> All right, so they will come. This is going to actually help because we're going to know they're going to come as soon as we drop this shit off. I mean, stuff off. X marks the spot. Get out of the way, Holmes. I know you might be tired, but... Now <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> oh, now they're... Come. And even the people on the in the park are after us. Look out, Tex! I know. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh yeah, you call me Tex again. <laughs> I didn't know Tony was a cowboy. What was that song or something about a cowboy? The Kid Rock sang that. I don't know. I think it's something about a cowboy, bait, some shit like that. Don't know. Ah, I think I heard it in my travels once or twice. But that's about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, look out, little car. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we got on the highway because... All the bridges or overpasses, whatever you want to call them, are high enough for the pound me two to go under. Yeah. And we gotta go up and drop this shat off, so let's cut across right. Oh, come on, baby. For something that used to be easy to make, that was seemed a little different. Not saying that the star has been manipulating shit, but I think I'm saying the star has been manipulating shit. I wish they'd manipulate the hacker trash out. <laughs> I mean, for real. But is it really Rockstar's problem? Let's 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 talk about that. I don't think it's Rockstar's problem. What? I know. Listen to what I'm saying. Poor parenting creates people that think it's nice to fucking hurt other people. Oh, that's pretty smart, Otto. I know. It really is that simple. People always want to wonder, how are we going to stop crime? How are we going to stop this? How are we going to stop that? It's simple. If parents would just parent, there'd be no trouble. If parents instilled good work ethic in their offspring, they would work hard. If parents <laughs> instilled honor and integrity and justice, there would be honor, integrity, and just people. Did I just oversimplify the world's problems again? No, I don't think I did. It truly is that simple. And here's another one, because I'm on my soapbox. 
Yo, Adolf, I mean Vladimir puking. He's out of control. And people are afraid of what to do. But here's what we need to have. We need to have not the United fucking nations that's the worthless piece of trash. We should have all countries on earth sign an agreement that says, Hey man, we won't fuck with you. You don't fuck with anybody else. And then... What the hell? Can I get my area? Why did it do that? And if you decide you're going to go outside your sovereign boundaries, like some people do, <clears throat> the entire populace of Earth attacks you. Without any debate, without any question, without any anything. They just all come. All at once. I know, because war sucks. War shouldn't be. Killing shouldn't be. Violence shouldn't be. I mean, haven't we had enough history? I mean, really, enough history to know, man, that shit sucks. Right? Haven't we? But yet, every couple of years, someone go killing people. Someone go invading somebody. But anyway, this is a happy time. I mean, happy for me. Playing my little game in my own little world. <laughs> and, you know, just food for thought. That whole be kind to others, treat others as you would have someone treat you. All those things. They mean something. There used to be a book. I mean, the book's still there. And 90% of people actually cared about the book. But now too many people do not believe in the book. It had like 10 rules you had to follow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's right. Y'all know the book. I don't need to call it. But anyway, we will land and we will leave you with that tidbit of thought. Please think about it. Be kind. Rewind. Be kind to others. Treat others as you would have them treat you. All those things. Please. Pretty please. With sugar on top. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> that was a little philosophical. We didn't mean to get philosophical, but you know what? With the horrors that happen in the world these days, someone's got to say something. I think we all need to say something. Other than, thanks for watching. Thanks for the kind comments, and please give me some kind comments on that. Nah, if you're not a kind person, I guess you're going to give me some bad comments. <laughs> ah, and thanks for subscribing, of course. And thanks for spending time with me in 2023. Yep, that's right. Ooh, look at this guy. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's talking, what is he? What is this guy doing? Look at his nose. What is he doing? With his hand up by his mouth. What? Darn. There, there's a lot of control. But anyway, this big drama right here. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> I'll see ya.